Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sia and today I'm going to show you how to build a fence. First thing first, you're going to want to notify your neighbours before you start building. Secondly, you're going to want to clear your working site. Okay, so now that we've cleared the site, we're going to be running the string line from both ends of the fence. Uh, that's, that's to establish our fence line. After that, we're going to mark our holes. Uh, our holes will be about two meters apart. Yeah. Okay, so guys, we ran into um, a little bit of difficulties. Uh, so the assisting boundary line had a footing, a concrete footing. So we, we, we had to grind the position of our holes and yeah, we had to break it out. As you can see. Yeah, that took a bit of time. So uh, yeah, now we'll get started into digging. Okay, so we're going to take a little break because uh, it's raining and um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. We're almost done with the hole. We're just having a little bit of uh, unpaid labor over here. Hey, Patty, say hi. <laughs> Can you not? So uh, this one's my uh, brother and this one, is just, brother. Um, this one is just a random girl in the road that we paid. Paid a few dimes. <laughs> One eternity later. Okay, so we've just done digging all the holes. Um, the hole is about 300, 350 wide. Uh, that's because the rule of thumb is that the hole should be about three times the width of the post. Our post is about 100 mil, so three times that is about 300. The rule of thumb for the depth would be one third of the post well one third of the height of the post okay so now we're going to be pouring about half a bag of um, concrete into the hole and um, we're going to wait for it to set before we put our post on uh, the reason for that is so we have a firm footing So the concrete that we're using for um, our fencing job is uh, basically is a quick set concrete. You don't have to hand mix it. You, you basically just pour it into the hole and then just add water into it and it should set pretty quickly. Uh, the approximate time is about 15 minutes. So yeah, we don't have to wait a whole day for our concrete to set, which is good. Oh hey there, we're just uh, milking it for a few minutes and uh, waiting for our concrete to set. Once our concrete set, we're going to be putting um, both of our end posts in and then we're going to be running a, a line through the bottom. They'll set our, basically that, they'll, they'll be the fence line. Yeah. This is the existing fence and uh, we didn't dig a hole for it because uh, we're just going to be attaching it to the fence. It's bloody strong enough as is because um, 
it's the corner to begin with, but at the same time, there's like there's just massive bloody uh, concrete posts, so it shouldn't go anywhere. From your finished fence, the face, you're going to want to measure about 75 mil back, just to allow for um, 50 mil railings and about 25 mil palings. And yeah, basically you just pump it up. So that's done for the post. Uh, we, we're just going to need to cut it off, but uh, that'll be for the end. Uh, hopefully with this fence going up, I'll help support this fence from collapsing. Yeah, now we're going to go do the other side. Okay, so for this side, which is the other side of the other end, <laughs> we're going to be... Um, we can't, we can't really attach the post directly onto the fence here because uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing really to attach it to and uh, yeah, it's not strong enough you can probably not see, it's wobbling uh, so we're going to be installing a post separately so basically where our hole is, about 200 mil back and uh, we're going to be putting two pegs down, running a piece of timber through and then that's basically going to hold our bottom piece and then uh, we're going to be putting a peg and bracing it into the fence which should hold the um, post from collapsing when we're putting our concrete So once you finish putting a um, horizontal piece on, you're going to want to transfer the finish line onto this piece of timber. Once you're done transferring the line, you're going to want to measure about 75mm back and that should be our offset. As I probably said at once before, you're going to want the, the two end posts pretty plumb because that's what's going to determine the, the rest of the post line. Okay, now that we have both our end posts up, we're going to be running a roll of timber along the line. That's what we're going to be using to hold the post up. So basically we're going to screw through the timber to, to hold the post in line, yeah? And then from there we're going to be bracing the post either ways. Okay, so now that we've, um, we've done bracing our horizontal timber all along the way, uh, as you can see, uh, the timber is reasonably straight. Well, it's, it's perfect. Let's say it's around 0.5 of a mil. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's like, you're not gonna get it any better than that. Now that we've done that, we're going to be putting our posts in position and bracing it. So
It's been a long afternoon and we're finally done for the day. Uh, we managed to basically put all the posts in and brace them both ways. After we did the bracing, we managed to um, basically pour the concrete in. Each hole requires about five bags of 20 kg quickset. It would have been more efficient if we were to get a a truck and a concrete truck but uh, due to the lockdown restrictions they're not available to deliver uh, yeah so we had to get about you know 40 bags of uh, 20 kg concrete in and we had to put it in by hand yeah so it, was, uh, it, took, it took a little bit longer than expected but we managed to get there yeah what's left to do now is basically tidy up the site and basically you know clean clean up clean up here and there uh i'm probably gonna go around and just brush all the concrete off the timber so there's no concrete sticking to it tomorrow when we're wanting to work with the timber for the railings uh also is a it's a good practice to get into yeah so i'll see you guys tomorrow